During initial setup when importing from the connected store, the seller will be asked to fill out some basic information which will be used as the defaults for all of their imported listings. This includes listing, payment, shipping, and return information. This information will be attached to the imported listings so that you can launch to eBay. Sellers will only need to set this information up once. You can create or modify this information on a per listing basis if needed. First, set up your default listing settings. Select your country, enter your postal code, your location, and choose your eBay market. Then click continue. Next, set up your import categories. Choose all possible top-level eBay categories that the products can use. This ensures that the products will be mapped to those specific categories. If no categories are selected, Inkfrag will attempt to match them to any eBay category. This can increase the likelihood of incorrect mapping, so it's always best practice to choose which top-level categories you desire to use. You're able to review and change these category mappings or other map specifics individually prior to import and launch. Once you've made your category selections, click Continue. Set up your default payment settings. Enter the PayPal email address and your checkout instructions. Please be sure that you have a valid PayPal email address. We also recommend sellers sign up for a PayPal address prior to arriving to this setup page. There is a link on this page to create a new PayPal account if required. Once complete, select Continue. Next, set your default shipping settings. Enter your default shipping settings here. Select the shipping type, calculated, flat rate, or a combination of both for domestic and international shipping. If you use eBay's global shipping program, there is also an option you can select from here. Once complete, select Continue. Next are your return policy details. Select the number of days that an item must be returned within. Also select the type of refund you'll offer to your buyers. Choose if the return shipping will be paid by seller or buyer. Set your restocking fee and any additional information you'd like your buyer to see about your return policy. Then select Finish. Select the Store Connector Settings button to set up your store sync settings. These settings allow you to control what syncs back and forth between your store and eBay. Use the information icons for further details on each setting. Select products from your store and review. Choose which products to import from the store. Choose import all products or manually select which products to import. Please note, if there are recently added products to the store, first select the Refresh Now link. After selecting Import All and then the Next button, review your products that are ready for import. If you've chosen manually select which products to import, choose the Select Products button. Select the products to import, then click Done, then select Next. Review and revise your products by clicking on an item to the left. This is very important for accurate category mapping. We've gathered all of the product data and automatically mapped best matching eBay details. Using eBay's best practices, the products will be listed with a good till cancel duration if available, new item condition, and other item specifics. Review your eBay category. Confirm your brand and product identifier. Provide accurate item condition. Provide additional item specifics. Once the review is complete, use the Import and List button at the top right to list the completed items to eBay. After the products have been imported and or listed, return to the library at any time to make further revisions. Individual Product Review Select a product title on the left. To the right is the product information, which includes the store ID, the SKU or number of variations, 
price range, and inventory. If the listing exists on eBay, choose Map to Existing Listing. If it does not, then continue to review. Review the eBay category. Add a secondary eBay category if desired. Review item condition and the condition description. Review any eBay required item specifics such as brand, as well as add any additional item specifics for the product. The default payment, shipping, and return profiles are selected. You're able to create additional profiles if needed by selecting the gear button. Once the review is complete, select Save Settings, and then use the Import and List button at the top right of the screen to list the completed items to eBay.